When you download that project from VideoHive, you will have several folders. First of all, open that folder's help. Here you can find README file. In that README file, you can find cool promo material, which help you to find project by Braxo. And same here, you can find music, which we use in our preview. And now let's open Premiere Pro to install that Smogger files inside Essential Graphics. When you open your Premiere Pro, first of all, you will need open Essential Graphics panel. So, if you don't have that panel open, it, you will need press Window and then choose Essential Graphics. And right now you will need import folders with transition. So here in Essential Graphics you will have this button. Press this button and choose Manage Additional Folders. Then press button Add and choose folder which you download from Video Hive. Here you will have that folder transition with all Mogart. So just choose that folder and press button select folder. OK. And now to use this transition, you will need switch location from all to transition folder. And you will have all transition which available in this package. And now let's create video with that transition. So let's create new sequence. For example, I will use that video to create new sequence. You can choose your own parameters by sequence. Press that button, choose sequence, and then choose parameter which you would like to use. So we have our video there, and I would like to use, for example, this transition. So just drag and drop this essential graphics transition into your timeline. To better performance in Premiere Pro, I suggest you choose playback resolution, smaller one, and the pause resolution, same small one. So right now you will have better performance in Premiere Pro. To add your media inside that plus holders, here image or video number one and image or video number two. Choose this essential graphics transition and then here you will have that stop edit. Open the stop edit in essential graphics and here you will have two plus holders. So I will use my photo for this plus holder. Here I can change size of that photo and position if I need. Same way here you can work with video. And I would like to add my video into this plus holder. So choose video which you would like to use and just drag and drop it here. To work with content inside that plus holders, you can use that button. So, for example, open in timeline. And here I will have that plus holder number two. And I can cut my video if I need, like this. I can change size of this video and move it by position if I need. Let's back to our project. So your transition ready and what more you can customize in this transition in that project. When you open, when you choose this project and open potential graphics, here you will have background color. So you can change background color. For example, I will switch to black one. And same here, you will have roundness of that corners. So you can play with roundness and make this like square or maybe choose bigger roundness like this and that's all your transition ready so right now we can check final result same way you can work with all transition in this package 
So just choose transition which you would like to use from, from transition folders. For example, I will use this one. Add this transition in my timeline. Choose that project. Open Edit tab. Here I will have controllers which help me change colors. In folder Edit Image I will have less holders where I can add my image or video. One more features about Premiere Pro. Best results you will have if you will use media, photo or video not bigger than 4K resolution. Because sometimes Premiere Pro can be crushed if you will use bigger photo or video. Add your media inside plus holders and right now you can press enter to pre-render final result. And that's all. Right now you can cut that transition whenever you want and move that transition if you would like to change position where that transition will start. Thank you for your attention to our project. Have a nice day.